Today it is August 8th. Uh, it is officially Leo season and I am very excited for the fact that it's Leo season because if you may or may not know, your boy right here that you're watching right now is a Leo. But I am a Leo Virgo cusp, which I don't really know what that means. I haven't really researched it, but I probably should. My birthday is on August 21st, which is about two weeks away from now. I'm gonna be 31 years old, which is fucking insane. I still remember when I celebrated my 21st birthday and now I'm gonna be 31 and my little brother is gonna be 18 in November and I'm just like having a existential crisis. But um, we are currently about to make some iced coffee because I have not had my caffeine today because last night I stayed up till six in the morning playing RuneScape um, and ended up falling asleep like at 6.30 in the morning and I woke up at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. We are gonna be grinding some fresh uh, coffee beans, some whole coffee beans. This is the coffee that I use. It's from the uh, coffee company, Caribou Coffee. I got it at Target. I'm usually like a Dutch Bros coffee bitch, but their coffee bags are like twice the cost of like a regular coffee bag. And as much as I love Dutch Bros, and you guys know how much I love Dutch Bros, I am not willing to spend twice the amount of money for the same type of coffee. So I opted for Caribou Coffee because when I used to live out in Long Beach, Caribou Coffee was the only coffee close to Dutch Bros because back when I used to uh, live there back in 2018, 2019, um, they didn't have any Dutch Broses nearby as much as they do now, which I'm fucking jealous because had they built a Dutch Bros close to me, I maybe would still live in LA. I also use this grinder. It is by the brand Cuisinart. It was like $20 um, at Target and it works. I like it. I It works for my daily use of grinding espresso beans because it's just me who drinks the coffee. Nobody else here in my house really drinks espresso besides me and occasionally my little brother, but my little brother is more of a Dutch Bros fan as well. I've kind of converted him into a Dutch Bros fan. So he'll usually go um, to get Dutch Bros and he never brings me back any, which is fine because you know I have my own coffee here, but you know it'd be nice sometimes if my little brother brought me some coffee whenever he went to go get some, even though I have a coffee machine here. If somebody was like, I'll buy you some Dutch Bros, what do you want? I'd be like, bet. Buy me some Dutch Bros, I'll take it. <laughs> I never knew my life would turn out like this. I mean, I know there's still time for some change and I know there's still time for things to look around, but at 30, I really hope that like I would be married, maybe have a kid, have a house, have a husband, have a baby daddy. But no, I'm single living at my parents' house in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of an epidemic now with this fucking monkeypox situation that we have going on. And I'm as single as I have ever been, which honestly at this point, I'm not really mad about it. And this is gonna be like TMI for some of y'all. And if you're like my mom or like somebody that's close to me watching this and you don't wanna hear this, I would suggest stopping the video right here. But I have literally the greatest sex life ever. And like, I don't need a man. There's like, there's nothing that sex and cuddling with a guy, with a fuck buddy, doesn't give me that a relationship, there's, there's nothing that a fuck buddy can't give me that a, no. There's nothing a relationship can't give me that a fuck buddy can. Online dating and dating in general have just become like very inauthentic that like, I would just rather not date because I'm so awkward and like I've become so introverted the last two years that like, I really don't wanna be in a relationship. I am happy occasionally texting my my fuck buddy and meeting up every couple of weeks to hook up and I get my fill, wink wink, and like, I'm perfectly happy. And you know, I'm not opposed to like, being in a relationship, I'm definitely not. Also, by the way, look at this. Look at this espresso. Oh my God. It is so fucking beautiful. Like, I'm not opposed to the idea of being in a relationship, 
but it is not my priority right now. I do want to show you guys the coffee machine in action soon. So maybe um, my, my next coffee cup, I will show you guys a little montage of me making my coffee, you know. What is up you guys? Good morning. Today it is Wednesday, August 10th. It's like around 9.20ish in the morning. And I am currently here sitting in a parking lot waiting for uh, my haircut appointment at 10 o'clock to cut my hair because I decided to cut my hair. I wasn't originally gonna cut my hair. I was going to just let it grow. But I've been seeing all these really cool like modern haircuts all over Pinterest and all over everybody, and I'm jealous. I really want like a modern mullet type of haircut. And I think my hair's long enough for it, like it'll grow longer as I cut it and let the back and the top grow. And I'm at this like new haircut place that I've never been to, but it's all over Instagram here in uh, downtown Phoenix. It's like a, a little popular spot that all the cool kids go to. Um, and the haircut's a little expensive, it's like, $40. I haven't paid more than like $22 for a haircut <laughs> ever. Um, but I figured this is like a trendier, more modern haircut that like your typical fast chain barbershop slash salon maybe isn't too on trend with. So I wanted to get a haircut with a person who was like on trend with all of like the modern haircuts but I'll, I'll let you guys know i will definitely show you guys once i get the haircut here in like half an hour um how it looks hopefully it looks good i'm a little scared so i got the haircut i am actually like pleasantly surprised at how much i like it like well worth the money the guy was like really fucking cool he was kind of quiet which i liked i hate when i go to like a barber shop or a place to get my hair cut and the person is like non-stop talking non-stop wanting to make conversations there's times where i just like don't want to talk and i literally just sat there like staring into space and he was just cutting my hair doing his thing making everything was precise and like i am so obsessed with my hair hi guys good Good evening, it is the next day, the day after I got my hair cut, and I decided to put some hair stuff in it. I went to Target yesterday to go buy some hair stuff, and I was not sure what kind of hair stuff to buy. I struggled for like 10 minutes, literally just standing in the men's product section, and I was like, do I want fiber cream or do I want forming cream? Do I want texturizing putty? Do I want pomade? I don't really know how to style this type of haircut. Cause as you can see my hair tends to fall to like one side and then like a third of it falls to the other side cause that's what it's used to. So now I have to train my hair um, to do what I want it to do. But the question is, what do I want it to do? Because I don't even know how I want to style my hair. I don't really know how you style this kind of hair. I put some of this fiber cream that I bought at Target yesterday by the brand Fix Your Lid. It's this brand right here. And it is a styling fiber. 
I like it. It's really creamy. It's really pasty. It's not hard like other fibers that I've used before. And it has a high hold and a low shine. And I tried it out and at first it left my hair really crunchy. And then I started playing with it throughout the day because I didn't want it to be like too crunchy or too hard looking. And this is kind of where we're at. I've also been laying in bed for most of the day, so my hair is a little fucked right now, but I kind of like it like this. So it usually says to fix your hair and style it when it's a little damp, a little wet, um, dry or towel dried hair. And I did towel dried hair. And it left my hair a little crunchy-ish. Not, not like crunchy, it was just like kind of stiff. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna try to do it to like a little dry hair. Maybe just like wet it a little. I think my main concerns is the back of it being um, too poofy. But I guess we'll figure it out tomorrow when I shower and do my hair again. Also, I have a really cool outfit that I bought for my birthday that I'm gonna wear for my birthday. Um, originally, my cousin Lauren was supposed to come to Phoenix uh, for my birthday, but she just told me today that she will not be able to come. So I will be spending my birthday alone, which honestly, I am all for it. Last year was a fucking mess. If you know, you know. But um, I went to H&M because I wanted to buy myself a birthday outfit to go with the new haircut. Actually, I wanted to find a haircut to go with the new birthday outfit because I bought the, the shirt like two weeks ago and I wanted a cute haircut to go with it. But I got this shirt. It is like an oversized button-up shirt. And I have really been into like that French style of clothes where like you just wear a button up with like no shirt underneath and you open up like the first couple buttons and you like just open up the chest and it just looks cute and then um i bought some jeans some like light light blue jeans that i'm gonna wear with it and then i'm gonna wear my new reeboks that i got like two weeks ago as well i got this new reeboks because i just wanted some like fun casual shoes to wear for my birthday since i'm gonna be spending my birthday by myself because my mom and my dad are both gonna be out of town that weekend i think i might go grab lunch with my little brother because he's gonna be here but i don't know i don't want to go out at night to go eat because my birthday lands on a sunday and I think I might just go out on Saturday to celebrate, maybe. And it's always packed everywhere. I hate going out to dinner after like five o'clock at night because like everything is so packed and always so full. So I generally try to avoid the public and going to restaurants in the evening, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might go out to a bar, grab a few drinks. I guess this is the end of this vlog. I feel like it's gone on way too long. But aside from that, I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you guys are all having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life. And I will see you guys on the next one.